Our Stelvio Pass adventure started in the picturesque village of Trafoi, Italy. We arrived there yesterday just before sunset, and it is only a stone throw away from the Stelvio Pass. Here is a 3D preview of our actual GPS tracks, after which we will roll the video footage of the trip. We approach the pass from the east. From that side and at higher elevation, the Stelvio Pass becomes quite steep. Eventually, we cross the pinnacle at 9,000 feet and began our descent on the west side. There, the road is less steep, but the scenery is breathtaking. Here is the video footage from the motorcycle mounted action camera. Our ride took place in mid-September of 2021. As a reminder, this was during one of the peaks of the COVID pandemic. We arrived in Europe from the United States, which the European Union had declared a COVID high-risk region just three weeks earlier. As a result, we found the entry restrictions of European countries harder to negotiate than even the tightest of hairpin curves shown in this video. In the end, we managed to overcome both challenges and we had a fantastic 10-day road trip through the Alps. Look for our other videos from this trip linked to in the description below. My husband Jonas rode a motorcycle while I drove an SUV. This unusual combination slowed us down quite a bit, since on the narrow, twisty mountain roads, a car can rarely pass slower moving vehicles, and oncoming vehicles often require careful negotiation. The whole traverse took well over one hour, but in the interest of brevity, we cut out repetitive views. The cuts make it harder to follow our progress, but the continuously rising elevation reading near the top of the screen tells the story of our progress toward the peak. We started the ride at about 5,000 feet, and the pass peaks at 9,000 feet. To convert feet into meters, divide feet by three. The beautiful scenery requires no narration, so let's sit back and enjoy the ride.
Just before reaching the pinnacle, we pulled into a parking area to take some video from a different perspective. After the video break, we continued across the pinnacle and down the pass on its western side. Right behind this curve, we spotted a beautiful waterfall that deserves a shout out. 